<coughs> Hi Jackie. Hiya. So you're standing in the Gillingham and Raynham constituency for the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where were you born? Uh, I was born um, at Whips Cross in uh, Walthamstow in East London. Um, and uh, we moved to Medway in, I think, 1989, 1990. Um, and I've lived uh, across Medway, um, all five towns, um, in the last 25 years. Um, Tell us a little bit about your family. Uh, well, I, uh, I have a mum and a dad, and they both live in Strood. My mum's a teacher. My dad works in the probation service. Um, they're both standing for Tusk in the council elections that are taking place this year on the same day as the general election. My mum um, fought to save Strood Library um, from closure of, uh, last year. Uh, he's standing in Strood North. My dad um, has got a long history as a trade union activist, um, fighting to defend his members' terms and conditions, jobs and services. Um, and he's standing out in the peninsula. Fabulous, thanks. Uh, what, what school did you go to? Um, I went to Wayne Scott Primary and then I went, to, I went back to education a couple of years later and I got my qualifications from uh, Medway Adult Edu Education Centre. Um, and then I, after that I went on to do uh, my nursing degree uh, down at Chatham uh, Christchurch campus. Brilliant, okay. Uh, so you're married? Yeah, got married last year. Cool. Is that to Alex, is it your husband? Alec, yeah. <laughs> Alec. Okay, um, so what do you do for a living? Obviously you're, you're a nurse, I presume. Yeah, I'm a staff nurse. I work at Medway Hospital. Um, I love my job. I work in intensive care. Um, I've worked across uh, the critical care team. Um, we've, got a, like, we've got a fantastic uh, team of staff up there who do an incredible job under really difficult circumstances. Um, and, and most disgustingly, have seen the value of their pay plummet in real terms since uh, since since the banking bailout. Uh, so you know, while you know the rich have got richer, you know, we're at the coal face have seen our our incomes um, plummet in real terms uh, at the same time. So you know, that makes you pretty angry. Mm, okay. So how do they feel about you standing, your work colleagues? Um, I think most people are pretty excited, yeah. And they're very supportive, are they? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so what made you decide to stand for Parliament, and in particular for Tusk? Um, well, I never wanted to be an MP, um, and I never really wanted to stand for Parliament. Um, and if it wasn't for Tusk, then I probably wouldn't be doing it. Um, I'm standing because... I look at politics and I think none of these parties represent working class people. Um, we're completely like, disenfranchised from, from the political process. Our trade unions, by and large, give millions to the Labour Party, but we get nothing back from that. Um, and, yeah, I don't, I don't have big dreams of being an MP, but somebody's got to fight. And, you know, if you... If you think something, then you should act on it. So, yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, so um, you're in favour of spending more money on key areas, but how will Tusk pay for these policies? Um, okay, so um, I think that we need to uh, have a programme of public ownership. So we need to bring um, privatised utilities back into public ownership, including the railways, the gas, the electricity, uh, the telecommunications networks, the water, um, so that we can so we end the subsidies that we pay out to private companies uh, for services that we all need and we all use and we all rely upon. Um, in NHS funding, um, thirty billion pounds at, at, the, at the very least. Uh, is needed to provide the beds and the staff that we need to meet the, the, the care needs of, of the population. And I'm in favour of um, uh, bringing the social care industry into public ownership. You know, the, the crisis in social care, in a lot of ways, is a lot like the crisis in health before the Second World War. Um, and after that, we set up the NHS. Uh, and I feel like we're in a similar situation again, but with social care, where we've got a population that's got increasing care needs, but the infrastructure isn't there because private companies are providing social care needs um, and private companies exist to make a profit. And I think there's something fundamentally immoral about 
provide a, a, about profiting out the long term care needs of, of the of the vulnerable um, and and the elderly. So you know I think we need to bring these services into public ownership, um, and then they sort of pay for themselves. But in order to meet the upfront costs of that. I think that we need to close the tax loopholes. We lose 120 billion every year to tax avoiders, and we stop bankers' bonuses. In the last Parliament, we had 80 billion pounds worth of cuts, which is the exact same amount that we paid out to bankers in bonuses. Um, I think that the uh, the richest one percent should have a levy, a one-off levy of 20 percent of their income uh, to provide the services and the infrastructure that society desperately needs, um, and. I think that if that's not possible, then I think that we need to have public ownership of the banks. You know, we could start with the Bank of England, um, but you know, you can't control what you don't own. And the finance sector um, has run roughshod over our economy, um, we've, and we've got absolutely no control of it because it's a private enterprise. So you know, if we had ownership of, of, of our banks, if we had ownership of our, our financial powerhouses, then we'd be able to plan how wealth is distributed much, much better. Thank you. You've often said, how can a politician on £67,000 per year plus expenses possibly understand the experience of someone living in poverty on a zero-hours contract or low wages? But if you win in Gillingham and Raynham, you will be in the same position, so won't you just become like the rest? Well, no, because I won't take £67,000 a year as a salary. Um, if I'm elected, um, I would carry on living on the wages that I'm receiving at the moment as a nurse. Um, so that's about £26,000, give or take, depending on how many nights you do. Um, and I will donate the rest to uh, community campaigns to defend public services. Um, I think that it's important that MPs, any representatives, don't have a material advantage over the people that they're trying to represent. I don't think that people should become enriched by being politicians. Um, so, you know, it's not a gimmick to say I'm not going to take the £67,000 a year. I think it's actually politically really important to make sure that you stay in touch with the people that put you there in the first place. Good answer, thanks. Okay, um, so on the 7th of May 2015, the people will make their choice. Is there a final message you would like them to hear before we finish? Um, I would say to people on the 7th of May across the Medway Towns, Tusk has pulled off the largest left of labour trade union back challenge uh, that Medway has ever seen. I would say do not waste your vote on another shade of austerity parties. Give, give your vote to Tusk and let's start rebuilding working class political representation. Thank you, Jackie Berry, and the best of luck on May the 7th, standing in the Gillingham and Raynham constituency for Tusk.